I, I don't have YouTube. Now I have everybody. So let me begin again. Begin from the very beginning. So my name is Anna Dira. Hi, Pra. Prathusha on Instagram, welcome. Welcome to this life-changing stream that I have prepared for you. I'm really busy. I'm not doing it too often now, but I will be doing a little bit more often starting today because I am done with a big, big section that I've been watching with. The section was I have released the new webinar and the webinar is called the four steps to your path. I mean, the four step path to your freedom from stuttering. I just released it and it's available for you. If you watch it in the recorded way, you can do it. If you go to livestarterfree.info, register there, you will be able to listen to this life-changing information. Hi, Kamplakar. Thank you for your hello and good to see you. Let me wave to you. Okay. So let me begin with a little lecture. Guys, if you have any questions, go ahead. This is your chance to ask any questions about what normal speech is, what stuttering is, why I am so certain that any person on the planet can stop stuttering once and for all in three days or less and just enjoy the rest of their life, enjoy the way they speak for the rest of their life and keep learning, of course, keep improving your speech for the rest of your life because this is what normal people do. We always improve. We always learn more words. Keep learning. Okay? So this is the bottom line. So once again, you are probably here because either you stutter or you have someone you love who does. And you may be even skeptical that living a stutter-free life is even possible. You might think that the idea of living a life free of stuttering forever is impossible. It may sound impossible, but I want you to stay with me and listen to me. And then the more you pay attention to what I am saying here, the more it all get kind of together and it will all make sense for you. Okay, sound good? So let's continue. So I would like to cover quite a few things today. And the first thing I would like to cover before we get to this first step that I would like to discuss today, I would like to address, to kind of answer, respond to the message I just received from a person who stutters and also a person who calls herself a stutterer. She is a person who stutters, and also she is a person who has a degree of speech and language therapist or pathologist. And I found the message very, very interesting. Hi, Arwin. Yeah, thank you so much for waiting to me. I found it very interesting that people like that person write to me and you know what i usually don't even respond to this kind of messages because most of the time people who are speech therapists pathologists and they start themselves their messages are very angry most of the time they don't understand what i'm doing and what i am saying just goes totally against their belief and it goes against to what they've been believing for their entire life and also they are making their living on their beliefs they believe that stuttering is some kind of a medical condition which doesn't have a cure but you have to kind of deal with this you have to accept it there is nothing wrong with you when you speak and stutter they believe all of these things 
And guess what? Because they believe it, they are so angry at the messages they receive from me. But this time, I was not, I mean, I actually enjoyed reading the message because I could tell the person who wrote this message, I don't remember her name. It was a lady who, I'm going to read the message to you. I'm going to show this message to you right now. I want you to see what I have to deal with. Usually I just ignore because I feel sorry for people like that. They are confused. And I know they have a big heart. They really want to help other people who stutter, but they don't know how to do it because they believe a lot of misinformation. So right now I am going to share this message with you. Okay, right here. Those who are watching me on YouTube and Facebook, they can see the message, okay, on the screen. But for those who do not see me on YouTube, which I actually recommend, guys, I recommend rather than watching me on Instagram, go join my YouTube channel. Then you're going to see what I am reading, what I'm talking about, okay? So this is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to read the message. You just catch it with your ears. And if you want to see it, go join me on YouTube or Facebook because there you can see. So let me begin. This is what I just received this morning. As I am reading this message, I am going to respond to the words. The message was written in a very polite way. I could see that the person is not nasty, okay? The person is not angry, but it really hurts her feelings because she really doesn't understand why I am just sending my messages about, yes, anyone can stop stuttering, anyone. And you don't need to go to a speech therapist to stop stuttering because speech therapists are trained to believe misinformation about what stuttering is. But let me go directly to the message, okay? Good night, Kamala. Kamala Kar. Good night. <laughs> okay. So here is the message. Hi, people on YouTube. Thank you for watching me. Once again, I'm going to remind if you have any questions, be my guest. Write your question right here. I will get to it right after I am done with my little lecture. So let's begin. Here is a... Hi, guys. On YouTube, I see more people joining me now and on Facebook. Good. So here is a message I received this morning. It was under the message of my truth that I'm sharing today. The message was very short. It was telling you that, yes, you can live stutter-free in almost no time. It is actually pretty simple. But listen what the person wrote. As a person who stutters and as a speech therapist, did you hear what I just read? A person who stutters and a speech therapist. To me, it's just insane. How can a speech therapist who is supposed to be a role model for anyone who has difficulty learning to say words with 100% accuracy, with ease, with comfort, with falling in love with speaking, how could that person be the one who stutters? So this little part, of the message tells me right away the person is a speech therapist and the person is a person who stutters. So the bottom line, she believes that stuttering is not a big deal. She can live and just with stuttering. Yes, she can. She can live with stuttering for very simple reason because she makes money off stuttering. It's her 
livelihood. The more people stutter, the better well she is, better well off she is. And she's not the only one. I'm not blaming anybody. I'm not telling how bad the person is. No, I'm just explaining why people who stutter should never be a speech therapist. Never. Because the only thing they can teach people who stutter is how to stutter, how to accept stuttering, how to never live a stutter-free life. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Because if you are a person who stutters and you are a speech therapist, who could not even help yourself, who is still making mistakes, who is still speaking inaccurately and struggles with speaking. How can you be of any help to people who want to be perfect, who want to speak accurately, who want to have a speaking job? They want to be public speakers. They want to be teachers, lawyers. They want to be salespeople. They want to get up in the morning excited about speaking, making phone calls, speaking with a lot of people. They want to be excited about this instead of, oh God, I hope I don't have to talk today to anybody. I hope nobody hears me stumble. Because when you stumble, people don't like it. And you cannot do anything about it. People prefer to listen to accurate speech, accurate. People in today's world, I mean, it's everyone is in a hurry. The moment I hear a person on the phone um, 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 and repeating and repeating, I'm like, okay, deliver already. Say what you want to say. I don't need your arms. I don't need your repetitions. I want clear speech, clear words. This is what's going inside of a normally speaking people. But let's continue because I stay here for too long. So once again, this is what she wrote. As a person who stutters and a speech therapist, once again, a person who has no idea what normal mistake-free speech is, she writes, I absolutely agree with you that there is no cure for stuttering because stuttering is not a sickness or disease, as you said. That's very good. I am in total agreement with this lady. Yes, she just stated reality. Stuttering is not a sickness. Stuttering is not a disease. It's simply what? She doesn't know that, okay? She doesn't know what it is in reality, okay? So she also said, I also agree that not every person who stutters needs or benefits from speech therapy. Just listen to these words again. She just wrote to me that she agrees that not all people benefit from speech therapies. <laughs> She's a speech therapist. Not all people benefit from speech therapy. So I'm glad she is at least in agreement with this little part. However, she writes, to make a statement such as, let me go and uh, just, okay, I'm going to click. Where is it? Okay, this is what I'm going to do. However, to make a statement such as that, that's junk and waste of money, which I read on your Facebook, is actually offensive. Of course, it's offensive. It's offensive for her. Can you imagine this nice lady? I can see by the way she wrote. She's very nice. Okay? She spent years and years on her researches, how to deal with stuttering. Then she went and she paid a lot of money to learn to become a speech and language pathologist or therapist. 
I know because I've been there myself. I know how much time, energy, and money you have to invest in this kind of education, of course. So she went through all of this. She finally became a licensed, or also requires a lot of money to become a licensed speech and language therapist pathologist. So she has become, she went through all of this. She finally became a speech therapist. Well, of course, it sounds offensive when I mention that speech therapy, it's actually junk. Junk. That's junk and a waste of your money. It's a waste not of, only of your money, but what is which is the most valuable. It's a waste of your energy and time and hopes. I know if you're a person who stutters, I know you want to go to a speech therapist because you want to solve this problem. You don't want someone to tell you, oh, you know what? You got to accept it. You got to deal with this. You want to get rid of stuttering. You want to speak like all other people on the planet, right? Write to me your comments. If I am saying things that high money, Hello, hello. Okay. If I am saying things that resonate with you, you want to do what? You want to speak like all other people on the planet. You don't want to be afraid of speaking. You don't want to drag it, you know, like, oh, God, I have to run simple errands. It means I have to go to the store. It means I have to talk there. What if I can't find, what if I will not find something I want to buy? It means I have to ask someone, where is your milk? Where is your sausage? I will have to talk to someone. Oh, God, not again. And guess what? This is a nightmare you've been living every day. Every single day. You cannot predict whether you're going to say it correctly or not, whether you're going to stumble or not. And then speech therapist, you come to your speech therapist, you want to get rid of this problem. And speech therapists tell you that it may help you. Yeah. So let's continue because there is a lot of things that she wrote that I want to comment on. So once again, Yes, this is why every type of a speech therapy is a piece of junk and a waste of your money, time, energy, and hope to live your life just like everyone else. Enjoy your life at the time when everyone else seems to be enjoying their lives. If you want to enjoy your life, you've got to solve this problem and not go to your speech therapist who stutters herself. Why would you go to her? She has exactly the same problem. Why would you go to her? Anyway, so she read this message in my Facebook and she found it actually offensive. And I uh, totally get it. Yes, it is offensive for her because she doesn't understand. She doesn't understand that what she preaches is basically criminal. But she doesn't know. She doesn't know this. This is why I am really like I'm open to any speech therapist. If you want to learn, come to me. And I actually have worked with one, actually two people who were learning to become speech therapists. I have helped them fix their speech. They're no longer stuttering. Okay, and now when they become a speech therapist, maybe they have already be, be, become, became, become. <laughs> okay, I have not heard from them for a long time. Okay, let's continue. So here is what she wrote next. There are many ways speech therapy can be beneficial as far as teaching people to embrace their startup love their stutter because it is a part of what who they are 
really. Before I can address this total confusion, you got to understand what stuttering really is. Before you say it's part of who I am, the statement is actually not too bad. Yes, you have to accept yourself. Yes, the way you are. But what is it to accept? You simply need to accept that you are still a beginner. You are a newbie in the way in your journey to learn to speak like all people on the planet. I'm going to stop to spend a little bit of time on that. you got to understand that in order to speak like all people on the planet speak without making mistakes or making very few mistakes sometimes stumbling but realizing okay i just stumbled i need to fix it this is who i am yes i may stumble occasionally but it's not a problem for me because i know what normal accurate comfortable speaking is I know what it is and what I do when I stumble, I just adjust. I just back to speaking with 100% accuracy, with 100% ease, and I love speaking. That's what it is, okay? This is what normal speech, when you just love speaking, you never worry about how quickly, how slowly you speak. This is what they all are focused on. So you need to understand that it's very, very important to know what stuttering is before you could tell that you need to accept stuttering. All you need to accept is, yes, I have a problem. But what is the problem? Do you really know what your problem is? The speech therapist that I just read the message from, she has no idea what the problem is. And because she doesn't know, she says, oh, well, what can you do? You have to accept it. <laughs> okay? Accept it. I'm here to tell you the only thing you need to accept is I'm looking at my notes somewhere because I don't want to forget anything. Okay. I am going to tell you what every person on the planet needs to speak. Okay? Where is it? Don't remember where it was. Yeah, I just want you to understand that. Okay, here I found it. Aha. Uh -huh. So I was going to talk about the first step what you need to do to get rid of stuttering in almost no time you need to go through this path that has four steps if you want to learn all the four steps you need to join go and register live starterfree.info register there watch it's about 30 minutes in the video i'm saying i'm saying 45 minutes but actually when i recorded it it came out came up to 30 minutes only so you're going to be watching and listening carefully for 30 minutes only hi money you i think you already wrote to me hello type your questions if you have them okay so you will be listening to all the four steps you have to go through but today, here in this live broadcast, I'm going to be focusing only on one step, okay? So let me go, okay. So once again, there are two problems with people who start. You simply, at some point of your life, you stop speaking. You stop, okay? And this... There are many, many reasons why it happened. But most of the time it happens in the early childhood. 
and uh, it happens because of various reasons maybe you know someone screamed at you and you got scared and you learned that you better don't talk maybe even your parents came home from work screamed at you you were la 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 talking expressing yourself and your parents said you know what i'm so tired i just got back from your work can you please shut up and you may learn that my mommy and daddy want me to shut up and you stop speaking very classic example is when for example the barking dog that's what they say the dog bark you got scared and you stop speaking after that there are so many things happen in our life in the life of children and children stop speaking they choose not to speak and when they do yeah arvin just wrote i agree with you thank you arvin i'm glad that the truth resonates with you so i recommend you actually go to livestarterfree.info listen to the whole webinar this will be the most inspirational time you've ever had in your life it will change your life forever i guarantee i promise okay okay <clears throat> there are more people how to for how to what how to cure stuttering this is what i'm talking about today to cure stuttering you have to go through four steps four okay and i am focused on step number one today if you want to learn all four steps go join my webinar i just released i was so busy for two weeks i worked on creating it that's why i couldn't do lives i couldn't be a, a, um, available i was just working with my students and just doing working on the webinar if you want to watch it i guarantee this is going the most life-changing event for you go watch it livestarterfree.info go watch it okay so once again you stop speaking and when you stop speaking you actually cut yourself you stole yourself from the opportunity of gaining experience of speaking and today and as you were growing up from that moment from your childhood guess what you were doing you were avoiding speaking more and more speaking speaking situations you were avoiding it and guess what guess what your speaking experience never happened you simply on or in experienced speaker today you don't have experience because you do not speak much you still avoid speaking and of course today you're not a five-year-old it bothers you you don't like the way the ugly words come out from your mouth you want to get rid of it and then you cop to you come to a speech therapist who stutters <laughs> and she believes that you are basically a genetic freak that's how they they of course they don't use these words but they say it's genetic you are born with this it's incurable it's whatever whatever by the way i forgot i was gonna read the message okay let me continue reading the message because this is very important so once again to answer your question if you want to learn about all four steps i recommend go join my webinar livestarterfree.info will you do that i can only recommend but today i'm focusing on step number one i'm getting there let me continue reading the message so once again she wrote there are many ways speech therapy can be beneficial as far as teaching people to embrace their starter love their starter love how can you love when you speak like what's to love about how can you love that people are looking at you 
What's wrong with the guy? How can you fall in love with this? I mean, it's absolutely for me because I am a very rational person. Even by my clothes, you can see I'm a black and white person. I like white color. It's my best. <laughs> I mean, I love it so much. Black and white. I don't see much of a gray because in reality, gray colors are always confusing. Okay. Something in between. What I teach is reality. If you want to be like all other people, if you want to speak like all other people, if you want to love speaking the way all other people do, anywhere, anytime, in front of anyone, guess what you need to do? You need to learn what is it that all normal people on the planet do when they speak what is it what is it that i have for my instrument speech instrument it's built inside of us it's a speech instrument and i have done it many times in my live podcast this is your speech instrument it's built inside of your body yes you do not see it this is why it's so confusing but this is exactly the same model, okay? Exactly. Arvin just wrote, it's stupid to love my stress and shame. Exactly. How can you fall? But you know what? That's what speech therapist wrote to me. And when I say that it's junk, she said it's offensive. Let me continue. Thank you. I'll continue reading. So this is what speech therapist who stutters herself, this is what she teaches young children who come, parents bring their children for advice, for help, how their children just get to be normal like all other people. But instead, this is what she teaches her young clients, her young whatever patients, that's how they call it. So they say that a person has to love their stutter, their stress, their shame, their embarrassment. They have to love. They have to accept it. Okay? And because this is, as it is, a part of who they are. No, this is not a part who they are. What is the part who they are? They just need to learn. They still haven't learned how to say accurately any word, anywhere, anytime in front of anyone. They just haven't learned. They're still in the beginning of their learning, learning the speaking skills. Because speech is a muscular action, muscular muscular how many times i need to repeat muscular that tongue is moving and we need to learn to move our tongue to say accurately any word we want accurately from start to finish not just the beginning of the word and repeat 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 the beginning of the word the whole word and this is what i teach okay so but speech therapist, a very nice lady, I can say, I can tell by reading this message, she doesn't know this. Okay. She believes that she is born a stutterer. It just, she talks about it. Okay, I'm going to read. Talk, okay, she also talk with children about their feelings and attitudes in regard to their stutter. And maybe... Maybe, that's her words, not mine. Maybe, see, I'm going to highlight it. Maybe learn some strategies to help them manage their stutter during those moments when they need to use them. Look how confusing the whole phrase is. She is teaching some strategies. What strategies? Ask any normal speaker ask what strategies do you use when you speak a person would look at you and say huh what strategies i just speak i don't use any strategies i don't need any techniques 
I don't use any techniques, methods, strategies. That's what normal speaking is. No strategies, no techniques, no methods, no whatever they teach. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Let me quickly check if there are any questions on Facebook. Yes. Hi, Mahmoud. Thank you for joining. Let me see. I'm going to go there for a second. Yeah. Hi, Kusharma. Want to be summer free? Yes. You are in the right place. Only here, only with this lady, you can be summer free. <laughs> Not with speech therapist. Sorry. Because you see what speech therapists believe. This is a perfect, absolutely amazing message. This is why I decided to, okay, someone sent a request to be live in my video. Okay, please confirm that you really want to be in the video because most of the time I accept requests and a person disappears because people sometimes click the button by mistake. So... Let me finish reading of the message because this is absolutely amazing message. So once again, this is a person who stutters and she is also a person who calls herself a speech therapist. Let's see what else she said. I feel like, see when she says, I feel like, what do we feel? We feel based on what we know. What a nice lady. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. L nice old lady, but still kicking. Okay, still going forward. So this speech therapist feels what the only thing she can feel because she is a starter. She has no idea what normal speech is. She's been trained to feel this way. But let me read. I feel like your ad, what I say, contradicts itself by initially claiming there is no cure for stuttering and then introducing a program that claims to teach you how to live stutter-free. I don't see any contradiction. I really don't. She writes that she feels that it contradictory. It contradicts. I don't see any contradiction because, yes, this is what I teach. It's like, yes, the cure doesn't exist. Let me give you a very simple example so you could understand why I do not see any contradiction. When you want to learn, let's say, a foreign language. No, okay, let's not talk about speaking, right? No, okay, we can talk about speaking. Let's see, you want to, you just move to a new country from let's say from Russia to United States of America, okay? That's what I did 20 years ago. And you want to learn English language. Where would you go? Would you go join the school to learn English words? Or you would go to a therapist to learn to manage your inability to say English words? Where would you go? Of course, you'll go to a, an English language teacher. Teacher, the one you are seeing in front of you, okay? What will happen if you come to a therapist and say, could you please cure my stuttering in English language? Because yeah, I don't know how to say words in English language. And I stutter, I stumble. It's, total, it's exactly the same. You need to understand. If right now you were in front of me and you said, okay, Anna, talk like Mahmoud wanted to be with me, in front of me. If he asked me, Anna, can you say some words? I don't know what language Mahmoud speaks. Maybe Farsi, maybe, I don't know, Hindi. I don't know. Okay. Or maybe Arabic. If he asked me, can you say the word, whatever, here, I'm showing you a pencil, right? And if he asked me, can you say this word in Hindi or in Chinese or whatever it is, 
I'm like, I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what the movements of my tongue is to call this thing in your language. But I know in two languages, a pencil and karandash in Russian. I can move my tongue for these two languages. You got to understand that stuttering is simply a whole bunch of mistakes of a person who has no idea what instrument he has and how he or she is supposed to use this instrument to speak accurately anytime, anywhere in front of anybody. That's it. This is why I don't see any contradiction. When you come to me, I simply show you, here is the instrument. This is how it works. You need to use your tongue in this way. Go, begin doing it. You begin doing it, and guess what? Your stuttering disappears. Check this out. Instantly. Instantly, right away, right in front of my eyes, I see people drop stuttering once and for all. That's it. Now you know how to do it. You just do it. You don't need any strategies. You don't need anything. And of course, I do not call it a cure. The lady is referring to a cure because this is the only thing she knows. Okay? So let me continue reading. If Stay with me. If you guys are still with me, I appreciate. But this is the information that again will change your life. Okay, so stuttering, aha. Uh -huh. I feel like your ad contradicts itself by initially claiming there is no cure for stuttering. Yes, there is no cure for stuttering because it's not a sickness, nothing to cure. And then you introduce a program that claims to teach you how to live stutter free. Yes, I teach people how to live stutter free which is in a simple way, how to say accurately and with ease any word, anywhere in front of anybody, without any strategies, without any methods, just like all people on the planet, okay? So this is why I don't see any contradictory. I teach people how to live starter free by using correctly, their perfect speech instrument. Perfect. This is your speech instrument. It's perfect. It's not broken. Nothing is broken in you. You're 100% healthy. You simply haven't learned how to use your instrument. And every time you want to use it, you're guessing. You're guessing. Sometimes you are guessing right. It's like playing a roulette. You know, like sometimes you guess it right and you speak normally, but most of the time you guess wrong and you begin to stumble. You begin to, your tongue begins to stumble because you still have no idea. What is it you need to do to speak accurately and with ease anytime? I keep repeating these words. Anywhere, anytime in front of anyone. This is what I would do. I don't care how many people in front of me because I will be doing the same things that I'm doing now. I have no idea how many people are watching me now and will be watching after I record this session. I have no idea. But when I speak, I'm always focused on natural speaking norms which all people on the planet are focused on when they speak. They don't even realize it. They are not even aware of them. If you ask them, what norms are you following? They will say, I don't know. <laughs> I just speak. This phrase, three words, I just speak. This is what normal speech is. No strategies, no methods. No techniques. I just speak. And in order to do that, you need to learn how to do this. What instrument you have and how your tongue is supposed to be moved. And the good news, it is so simple. Extremely simple. 
that when my students come to me, most of the time, even one day is enough. Very, very often. If, for example, you have only a technical problem, you really have no idea how to move your tongue and you don't have any other psychological layers, any other problems, any other mental blocks, one day is more than enough. You realize what to do with your tongue and you begin doing it for the rest of your life. That's it. Your stuttering nightmare is gone. <laughs> okay. But let me continue reading. Guys, you may... Oh, hi, Darlington. Yay, I can't wait to teach Darlington. Darlington will soon join my class, right, Darlington? Okay. So I'm going to continue reading. The lady also wrote here, I also feel that the tagline is attaching a social stigma, that there is something wrong with stuttering, that it needs to be corrected. I'm going to repeat it again. It's a social stigma. I agree with her. It is a social stigma that there, that stuttering, that some, oh, that there is something wrong with stuttering, that it needs to be corrected. She calls it a social stigma. Hey, you're a very nice lady. This is not a social stigma. This is real life. It's reality. People don't like dealing with those who stutter. They don't want to wait you to use all your strategies when you need them. People want to hear a clear word and go with their life. You will never, ever be able to live a successful life unless you are being supported by the government system, which speech and language therapy pathology is. It's a government system. I'm not going to touch this because I don't want to lose my YouTube channel, okay? But this is what people are being trained to teach you that this is a social stigma. No, it's reality. If you want to be living the same life as all other people on the planet, you got to solve the main barrier in your life. You got to learn to speak like all other people because speaking is the foundation for our life foundation if you do not speak you're a monkey you're not a person yet people must speak period of course you may have learned how to write words then of course you're not a monkey already you i would say you're 50 percent monkey because you can spell words nicely you can write the words but if you cannot say accurately the words, this is not what people are here for. They must say accurately and with ease and comfort any word, any time in front of anyone. Okay, let me continue. So this is what she believes. She's been trained to believe. I want you to understand I'm not going against this lady. I just, when I read this message, I was going to type something and look, no, I'm not going to type anything because like every word, every line here is a perfect example of what our society believes. The whole <laughs> world believes, okay? She writes, and people have been trained to believe this. She believes stuttering is something that happens to some people some people she has no idea why i do and i just explained to you stuttering happens and by the way happens is the word just totally weird word it just ah oh, something happens to me i walk on the street and something happened i fell down what just happened duh there was a slippery ice and you were counting birds in the sky. You haven't noticed the ice on the road and you fell. 
what happens to you? It doesn't just happen. There is a very simple reason why people begin to stutter. It's not just happens. As I explained in the beginning of the podcast, you are a newbie. You are still unaware of what you need to do when you speak. You are inexperienced speaker. That's the bottom line. You have no idea what speech instrument you have. You have no idea what you need to do with your tongue to say any word accurately and easily, comfortably. You worry about wrong things, basically, today. You worry about speaking fluently, quickly. I never care about it, how quickly or slowly I speak. I worry about one thing. I want to share my message. I want to share my words. And I want to make sure they're accurate so people wouldn't say, huh, what? What did you say? Could you please repeat? No, I don't want to repeat. I'm too lazy <laughs> to repeat. I value my time. If I have said something, I don't want to repeat again. Of course, I have to do it a lot in my class. When people don't understand, I tell them, do this. They begin doing it, and I see that they didn't get it. They didn't understand what the task was. Then, of course, I go again. I repeat again. I use different words. I select the right words to really transfer the information to the mind of my student. I'm really focused on how to do it in the way they would understand me. And guess what? This is what all people on the planet are focused on. How to transfer information to other people accurately. Accurately. Nothing else matters. If I need more time, I'll take my time. If I don't need more time, I can, I can do that. If I want to say a tongue twister, I'll do a tongue twister. If my tongue is trained to do a tongue twister. Okay, so once again, stuttering is something that happens to some people. It happens only to people who stopped speaking when they were young, who have not developed their speaking skill. Speaking means word and tongue skill. The skill to transfer the word, to say the word with their tongue, just to put it in a simple words. This is a skill to say the word with your tongue. And it usually happens in early childhood. Yes, there are also cases when stuttering starts at old age, for example, when some trauma happened or people had a stroke or something, when information got erased and when people don't basically remember to even how to walk, how to chew food. They have to begin learning from the very beginning. And you have probably seen older people when after stroke, they can't even chew food. They go to speech therapists again. <laughs> speech therapists teach them to chew food, to swallow food. Okay? Let them do it. At least this part is good that they are doing. Okay? Because it is related to a medical condition after stroke. Basically, after the stroke, people would have to relearn again, everything again, again and again, whatever they were doing before this trauma to their body. It's like a computer, you know what, shake your computer. Of course, a lot of files will just boom, they will break. But okay, anyway, let's continue reading. What else did she write? It doesn't need to be corrected. This is the bottom line. It doesn't need to be corrected. This is what she believes. And this is what you get when you go to speech therapists. They all say this. Stuttering should not be corrected. Or if you do want to correct it, then they're going to give you strategies that normal people never use. Okay. What she wrote then? Of course, it would... Oh, 
This is contradictory, right? Listen to what she wrote next. Of course, it would make life easier to speak more fluently and not stutter. And that's up to individual to decide if they want to live stutter-free. I disagree only with one word that she mentioned, fluently, because she doesn't even understand that speech fluency is a hoax. Speech fluency doesn't exist. Nobody but starters and speech therapists who stutter care about speech fluency. If you listen to any public speaker, any public speaker, listen to the way they speak. They repeat words, they do arms. They are not perfect speakers, most of them. They don't speak perfectly. Some of them do, but not all of them. Very few of them never repeat words, never arm, never use filler words. Most of them speak with mistakes. Okay, why? Because of speech therapists like this. Because of specialists like this who don't believe that making a mistake when you speak is a big deal. Oh, well, whatever. But at the same time, this is again contradiction. She says, it would be nice if I spoke better, right? More fluently, she wrote. And I don't start, it would be nice. Oh, of course it would be nice then. You would be a 100% human being and you would enjoy the benefit of being a human being. So this is what she wrote next. Please be mindful of the stuttering community and how your message may be received. I have a very, very simple question to ask. I want you guys to be really, really serious about my question. Guess who created the stuttering community? Who created them? Write to me what you think right now, because I have the answer. Who creates all kinds of stuttering forums, stuttering community? Who makes even closed Facebook group? There is like stuttering arena group. It has thousands and thousands of subscribers. They all get together and they exchange horrible misinformation with each other. They confuse each other. This is what they do. They go, guys, what do you think? What would you recommend? They ask for advice of a person who has no idea what normal speech is. Just like this person who stutters and is a speech therapist. So the answer to you is high speech matter. Yes, speech matter. Thank you for the name. Governors. Yes, governors. Huh? In a way, you're right. Governors. You're absolutely right. Because who supports people who stutter, who are speech therapists? Who gives them the salary? Who pays them all the money? Who gives money even through health insurance? Who? The governors. You're absolutely right. Arwin, you are such a cool guy. You got to talk to me. Come to me personally. But first, watch the webinar, okay? Watch the webinar. I want you to become aware. I don't want you to be like, oh, I don't know this, I don't know that. Go watch the webinar because... It's just mind blowing, okay? So once again, start, all the stuttering communities have been created by people who stutter. Most of them are even, not most, but maybe 50% of them are speech therapists themselves who stutter. They want you to stutter. They want you to believe this misinformation that you don't need to correct your speech. You need to accept it. You need to fall in love with this craziness of speaking b -b 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 like this. I am here to tell you, with my experience of thousands of people who used to stutter, dropping their stuttering right in front of my eyes, 
They are beginning to enjoy their lives. I see their successes all the time. And if you go and watch my webinar, let me remind you, livestarterfree.info. You can put W's in front or whatever, HTTPs, I don't know. But livestarterfree.info. Go watch it. Listen to it. There, I just included four examples of my students. I did not include, and I'm thinking about doing another webinar because I'm kind of sensitive with these students, the families who come to me and I, how I work with children, teenagers, children. I want to include this. I'm working right now on a compilation of the way I work with my students who are children and their parents. And this, I'm thinking about doing this compilation, but covering their faces because, yeah, it's, I know parents are always concerned about their children's faces online. So I'm going to do it soon. I'm working on this. Okay. So, yes, hi, super cool. Oh, sorry, I don't know. So, anyway, let me quickly look if there are, oops, that's not what I want. Oh, StreamYard here. Hi, Riza. Good to see you here. Joe, yay. Hi, Anna. Why do I speak now? Okay, guys, give me one second. I'm going to finish reading the message. Then I'm going to get to your questions, okay? Please bear with me. Thank you for your questions. Beautiful questions. I'll answer them all. I promise. I want to make sure you get what you want. This is the word, the way I work. So let me read. Once again, stuttering community. If you still belong to stuttering community, I encourage you to leave it right now. Leave any stuttering forum. Get out of there. You will not learn anything that will benefit you in your life. You will continue thinking like a stutterer and believing that you just a genetic freak, someone who is born a stutterer and you cannot do anything about it. Yes, you can. And you can do it in as little as three days, and some people are even in one day. I've seen it thousands of times. Thousands in all the years of my work. Okay? So let me finally read the last part of the message. As I said, this lady is very nice. The message is nice, very polite. So here, I am sure you have an amazing program. How can she be sure? <laughs> How does she know? Because of the videos I keep posting. They cannot say anything. Before, when I just started teaching the program, they were screaming at me. They were calling me names. They were just blocking me everywhere. But I don't care. Okay? I just keep working. I keep helping people liberate themselves, awakening people, liberate them from this nightmare, awaken them from the nightmare called stuttering, okay? And with my YouTube channel, with my videos all over internet, they cannot, they can no longer tell me that my program is not amazing. You see the contradiction? She tells me, oh, I'm so offended by your words, but you have amazing program. Yes, I do. I have amazing program. Okay, okay. So I am sure that you have an amazing program that has helped many people and will continue to help others who started. Yes, I know as long as I go, I will continue to help people who start in one day or better three because three days is unlimited. You get my time unlimited. And I mean, I give a 100% success guarantee with a full three-day course. It's unlimited support from me. Anytime. Money is never between us. You get the course, you invest in yourself, and then I'm with you anytime you want. And then the lady wrote even this. I wish you the best of luck. And I ask you to please consider this feedback as constructive and respectful and not as a verbal attack. Good luck to you. What a change. 
What a change. Thank you so much. Whoever is listening to me, if you wrote the message, because unfortunately I haven't saved your name. I was looking for it and I couldn't find it. You know, on Facebook, everything moves so quickly. I have no idea where your message is now. But good thing I've saved it and uh, I'm reading it. I really, really I mean, appreciating your feedback. Thank you so much. Because it shows clearly what's going on in the world of stuttering or any difficulties people experience in speaking and what's going on in the mind of people who stutter and have been through all these years of learning to become a speech therapist trying to figure it all out for themselves and wanting to help others, but instead they are stuck in the old paradigm. This brings us back to what the very first step is. Let me just tell you what it is, okay? I'm gonna go back to my place where I stream. Okay, here is where I'm streaming from. I'm gonna go back, you see me now? Okay, so before I go to the first step, I'm going to answer your questions because it's very important, okay, for me. So let me see, are there questions on Instagram? There was a question, how do I stop, how to cure stuttering? So once again, the lady, even the speech therapist wrote to you, there is no cure for stuttering because it's not a sickness. It's not a disease. You don't need a treatment. You're 100 percent. See, I just heard myself stumble. What I did, I just adjusted. That's it. You don't need to do any treatment to have any cure. You need to learn what normal speech is, how normal people produce words and do it for the rest of your life. That's it. Okay. Hi, Maher Jiahu just joined. Okay. Let me begin with questions. Okay. Kush Sharma, want to be stammer free? I also want you to be stammer free. You can. I know you can because I've seen it thousands of times. Okay. Mahmoud. Hi. Hi, Mahmoud. <clears throat> nice to hear from you again. Yeah. Still alive. I was really working hard for the webinar. It just wasn't easy, I promise, because this had so much, has so much information. And I had people help me structure this information and put it in a very, very simple, comprehensive way. I want you to go, guys, all of you, if you understand English, go join live start a free that info you know what i can actually show it to you let me stop screening stop and now share screen share screen chrome tab okay home live start a free share yay i just did it i just did it okay let me go back here this is, if you go live starter free that info, you are going to land on this page. This is very, very important. Guys, if you're listening to me on Instagram, go join my YouTube. I mean, I can show it to you just quick, quick look. Okay, how do I do this? I don't know, questions? No, it's not questions. How do I switch? Oh, right here. Yeah, see this? When you go to leave starter free that info, you're gonna see this page, okay? And the page will show you. Oh, second, let me go back to here. Oops, no, that's not what I want here. Okay, so the page shows will show you the four step path all our students follow to achieve a start of free life in only three days you see that so you're gonna have to click to join the webinar if you still don't want to click the webinar 
you can read this. It says, this online training will reveal the step-by-step -step approach that our students use to unblock their speech and leave stutter free, free of stuttering and do it in less time than you have ever thought possible. You see this? Communicate with me. Tell me if you can see what I'm showing to you. Okay, I'm going to put my phone even closer so you can see. This webinar will reveal why spending precious time on speech training or therapy is the last, the least, sorry, the least effective way to stop stuttering and what our students are doing instead. What our student, students do instead of going to speech therapy, whatever. And I just talked, just discussed what people get in speech therapy. You will also learn how our students have overcome their fear of speaking in public and no longer avoid social situations. You will learn this all. You will also discover what our students are doing. Okay, someone is calling me, sorry. What our students are doing differently that gives them the ability to speak accurately and confidently, even in stressful situations. No matter how stressful situation is, you will learn how to speak just in the way all other people speak, without stumbling. And even if you do stumble, you will immediately know how to fix your mistake and continue speaking. The secret you will reveal, we will reveal the secret weapon our students have used to take control of their lives so they can excel in their career and establish better relationships with their family and friends. Go watch this webinar. I don't know how to emphasize more. And you will learn how our students are able to stop stuttering in record time, even when they thought that they had tried everything. If you have tried everything, then you need to go and listen. You have never learned how to speak. Please understand. Okay? Okie dokie. So I'm going to switch back to me. I'm switching back. Oops. Okay, you can see me again, right? So Instagram is not easy to deal with. So then you're going to click on to join the webinar. I have had already people just skipping all of it and go take take me just you need to register right here you need to put your name and email okay then you're going to meet me okay you see here it says watch 45 minute webinar that's what it says but in reality after i have recorded it it actually was only 30 minutes it's not even 45 minutes so make sure you put aside 30 minutes of your life i promise you will change your life forever if Things that I'm talking about right now resonate with you, then wait when you hear what I say. Okay, so this is, let me put for you, Anna, okay, Anna, okay, I'm going to put my email, Anna Dieter, okay, take me to the webinar. Take me to the webinar, and that's where you're going to be. Discover how you can stop stuttering forever in just three days, and you're going to watch this webinar. Please, you can even write down the four steps I recommend, actually. Grab a pen, listen to the webinar, and write down those four steps. Because I've already talked to someone. He came to me, and I asked, have you watched my webinar? He said, yes. And I said, what are the four steps? He looks at me and he says, I don't remember. <laughs> you gotta write it down. You gotta understand them because it's very important. If it wasn't, 
I would not be investing a lot of time, energy, and money into putting this webinar together for you. Okay? And here you see, click here to schedule your free consultation. See? You click here and you schedule a call. Everything is simple. Over here, you're going to see all the times available. You're going to see when I'm available. And we're going to get together on a Zoom call, which I'm going to get out of this webinar soon because I will be, I'll have another call pretty soon. Okay. Any questions, guys, just ask. Okay. Let me go back to the stream. And I'm going to close this. Okay, let me see. Ah, StreamYard. Okay, I'm StreamYard. I'm StreamYarding, <laughs> if I can say that. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing the screen and start sharing again. Now I promise I'm going to get to your questions. Share. Okay, share screen, Chrome tab. Yes, share. Perfect. Well, come on, I cannot talk right now. Okay, someone really wants me. Okay, StreamYard. Okay, so here are the questions. Hello, hi, Anna, Joe Road. Hi, Anna, why do I speak normal on my own and in front of others I cannot? Speech therapies create stubborn community. Thank you, Joe. I just, sorry, I just wrote what you wrote here. Okay, Joe, if you are here, still listening, here is the answer. It's very simple. You have more than one block. One block is that you have no idea what you need to do with your tongue. And the other block is when you are in front of people because you don't know what you need to do. You are focusing on other people. When you are focused on other people, you lose sensory connection with your speech instrument. You cannot speak. At the moment you are focusing on other people, forget about your speech. You need to understand how things work. And for you, if you have this problem, I would recommend the three-day course, okay? With this kind of problem, you got to understand when we speak, it doesn't matter where we speak, in front of others or alone. We need to use our instrument in exactly the same way, which is never different. And I think I already kind of presented it. If you didn't hear it, you can go to the beginning of this podcast and listen, okay? You need to learn how to use your instrument and use it for the rest of your life anywhere and anytime. And it has a lot to do with your stable, coordinated, focused beam of attention. You are not that experienced speaking with other people. You don't have this experience. You begin talking to other people and all of a sudden, these other people become so important to you that you lose connection with your tongue, basically. Just put it in simple way, in simple words. I'm going to give you a simple example. Imagine you are writing something. You are holding a pen and you are writing and you are 100% focused on writing something. But... All of a sudden, someone enters the room or screams from the other rooms, calls your name. And look, I'm writing, writing, and then someone called me. Anna! I go like, huh? What happens to my muscle? I stop writing. My attention went somewhere else. I no longer feel my hand. I'm no longer with my instrument. My attention went south. <laughs> it went somewhere else. And in order to continue writing, I need to la 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 la, okay. And I continue writing. See, I was 
go and talk to someone else, then I go back and I continue writing. The same happens to people who stutter. When they attempt to speak, all of a sudden they drop their instrument. Mm, this is the instrument. They don't have a sensory connection and they begin watching others. That's where their focus is. And their eyes are wandering around all the time. To me, when I see people roll their eyes like this, I know this is a stutterer. I know a person is not really great with his or her speaking skills. I see it by two things. I want to share with you two things. Two things all people who stutter do, all of them. Number one, they roll their eyes constantly, constantly. You ask them a question instead of simply the way I do. Ask me a question. I'm going to be answering. I don't even know my eyes are here with me. I don't care about my eyes. But people who stutter, you ask them a question, they go, uh, uh, uh. they begin rolling their eyes. This is one symptom of stuttering. The other symptom is they constantly lick their lips, bite their lips, play with their lips, play with their tongue constantly because they have no idea how they're supposed to use this speech instrument. It's an instrument and we need to use it correctly. When you use it like this, it will cause you to stutter. The next moment when you want to speak, you need to move your tongue in a totally different direction and you will stumble. Okay. I hope, Joe, you got it. You understood my answer. Okay. Let's go to Instagram. Then I'm going to go back. Okay. Is meditation good for someone who stutter? This is the worst advice. The worst one. Here is why. When you meditate, how much do you speak when you meditate? Meditation means sitting in your mind and listening to your breathing. This is what they teach how to meditate. Listen to your breathing. But you know what? Your breathing is fine. Your breathing is not broken. You better get to your tongue. <laughs> Focus on your tongue rather than listening to your breathing, which happens without you. Focus on feeling your tongue movement. And once again, speech is a muscular skill. Muscular. You need to move the muscle. Speaking happens below your eyebrows. Meditation happens here, above your eyebrows. Speaking happens below. Once again. I just had a conversation with one of my students who came to me even after the class. She told me she started meditating and she immediately started speaking less. When you meditate, you don't speak. And you are sitting in your mind. You gotta be with your muscles. You gotta be with your body. Forget about all this misinformation you don't need to do meditation in the way they show it to you the way they teach it you don't need to do all these breathing practices because this is not your problem your problem is you have not developed the speaking skills period you have not developed it yet and to develop it you need to move the muscle you need to move your tongue but before you can move the tongue, you need to understand how to do it. And this is where I come in. Come to me. I'll train you. The programs today that I offer are pretty affordable. Of course, I'm talking about at least in the United States. I know the world is like <clears throat> squeezed of money today with all this stupid stuff. Okay, where people are not even allowed to go to work today. Yeah, Darlington. Darlington understands me too. So please forget about all this meditation. God put us on the planet to work with our muscles. And the more experience we get with working with our muscles, the better our life becomes. The happier we are, the more successful lives we live. 
muscles, body. Forget about this. Forget. This is the area of imagination. Okay, hope, Arwin, you got my answer. Okay, so Goha wrote, Hi, Anna, can you please tell us a little bit about NLP techniques? Guys, guys, techniques again. Once again, Gohar Ali, ask any normally speaking person, what techniques do you use when you speak? People will answer, I don't need, I don't use any techniques. NLP, speech therapy, Valsalva, Maguire, there are so many techniques. They all have been invented by people who have no idea what speaking and stuttering are. I'm going to repeat. There are many, many man-made techniques. They are not natural. They do not resonate. They are not linked to your natural physiology of your body. It doesn't work with physio I mean, physiologically with your body, it doesn't work. Even this NLP technique, once again, NLP techniques, when you go and sit in your mind, yes, they dig in your past. Oh, let's see when your stuttering started. Okay, you learn. That's when it started. And now what? You still have no idea how to move your tongue. You still don't know it. Good morning, Akash. Thank you for joining. Okay. You need to understand what is it that I have in my body that I use to say any words anywhere, anytime. Please, please understand this. Okay. For those of you, let me go and go back to, I want to show webinar. I want to show the page. Okay, I'm going to do this. Yeah, this is what I want to show. So once again, go hard. If you want to speak like all normal people, my guess is that you do. You got to quit asking for any techniques. There are two ways to deal with stuttering and achieve normal speech, just like everyone else on the planet. Normal speech. One way is to look for techniques, methods. This is a dead end. Because, yeah, there are so many techniques. It's someone's fantasy. People fantasize a lot. They are ready to sell you all kinds of techniques. They're going to do it. Okay, for your money, sure, come. I'll create a device to put in your ear. Just buy it. I'll do this. I'll do that. Just buy it. Pay, 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 pay forever for the rest of your life. The second way to deal with stuttering, stop believing the incorrect, the misinformation you've been believing for your whole life. And this misinformation has kept you in, trapped. You've been doing it for your entire life, for years. You believe that there is something wrong with you and you need a cure, you need technique, la, la, la. Stop believing this misinformation. I want you to understand. This brings us to the first step. I Actually, what I did, I just put it right in front of me. It's from the webinar. Okay, step number one, stop believing false information you were taught for years. From everywhere, from schools, from teachers, from parents, from whatever, from everywhere. Speech therapist, of course. So, okay, the first step to a stutter-free life is to forget all the false information you've been taught about stuttering. Don't believe it. Stop believing it. At some point of your life, you've probably heard that you can never stop stuttering. I'm just reading it. You've probably heard you can never stop stuttering. And you also heard that it's incurable. So you just have to deal with it. Or maybe you've heard that it's a medical condition that can be cured with drugs. 
this misinformation has totally kept you from the truth I'm sharing today, from the truth you have been searching for a long time. Some of you for years, some of you for months. I have no idea. We all are different here. So now, once and for all, let's wipe the slate clean, just erase all this misinformation. So before you, before you learn what stuttering is, it is vital to understand what it is not. And I'm going to just list it. Stuttering is not a sickness of your body. It's not. You're not sick. Even the lady speech therapist who stutters herself, even she admitted it. It's not a sickness in your body. It is not genetic. I'm not sure if that lady understands that. It doesn't come through genes. If you have questions about it, I can always explain why. Stuttering does not require you to be cured, treated, to just go and look for different techniques, NLP or whatever they are. And you do not need to have some ongoing treatment and again and again and again, come back to a speech therapist, come back. Because guess what happens when you come back? The longer you believe that you are broke or broken, the longer you're going to be coming back to the same speech therapist or whoever you're coming to, some advisors. And you're going to be paying. Not a lot. No, it's not that expensive. But accumulatively, it's going to be pretty expensive because you're going to be set to pay for life, for your lifetime. So also stuttering does not require any type of long-term long term speech training or therapy. You don't need to. Yes, of course, some training is required, but after you learn how to move your muscle, yes, three days is actually a lot already. Three days is enough. And then, of course, you're going to have to build up your vocabulary because you need a different kinds of vocabulary. You need a tongue vocabulary. And people who stutter do not have it or have very little of it. This is the reason some people who stutter have certain difficult words because their vocabulary, tongue vocabulary is not built. Okay, so in reality, stuttering is caused by just three things. Oh, I finally found it. <laughs> I was looking for this spot. I finally found, pay attention now. In reality, stuttering is caused by just three things. Number one, a lack of experience operating your speech muscles. As I told you, you stopped speaking when you were young. And you robbed yourself from gaining a sufficient experience with speaking, with moving your tongue, according to the word you want to say. Number two, it's underdeveloped speaking skills because you don't have experience. You remained, your speaking skills remained underdeveloped. You're still a young child in speaking. You may have grown up. You may have been an adult already, of course, and not a stupid one. You are smart people, but not in terms of speaking skills. In terms of speaking skills, you're still a child. You're still amateur. You still are talking like a young child. You're still making mistakes, exactly the same mistakes. You repeat words, you prolong, you stretch words, you stumble, you block. Exactly what young babies are doing when they are learning to speak. On top of that, You've learned a lot of lies, a lot of misinformation, and now you're afraid. At least children are not afraid to speak. They're making mistakes and continue speaking. But you already are afraid of speaking because you don't like the ugly words that you hear coming from your mouth. Okay? And the third one is a set of incorrect speaking actions in your memory. So I'm going to repeat again. It's a lack of experience operating your speech muscles, 
underdeveloped speaking skills and a set of incorrect speaking actions in your memory. You remember how you did it. You didn't do it correctly. And that, that's what you remember. And you keep doing it. Keep doing it. You know, in Russian, we have this saying, you keep stepping on the same rake. Boom, boom, the same rakes. You know, rakes with the teeth. When people step on them, they get hit by the handle. That's what you're doing. And what's amazing that it's not complex and it can be fixed. Okay, so let me see if there are more questions. Yes, Anna tells the truth. I know I tell the truth. I know I've been telling this truth for over 10 years. <laughs> okay, so can you give an example of how normal people use their tongue? Yes, I can. Yes, come to me, I'll show it to you. Come to me. It's not a secret. Come to me. I'll show it to you. And the first consultation is free. Okay? It's free. You don't have to pay a penny. Watch the webinar. I will show it to you when we talk. It's basically very simple. The tongue goes up and down. Not in any other way. Up and down, up and down. This is why when you lick your lips or bite your lips, you stumble. You show me that your, your instrument is programmed, your tongue is programmed not to walk up and down, move up and down, but going forward and backwards. That's what you do. And you're poking your instrument with your tongue randomly at random. You have no idea what to do when you speak. You're guessing. You're constantly guessing. Okay? It's time to stop guessing. Stop believing all the misinformation, okay? So, I don't see too many questions. I guess someone really wants to talk to me. I guess I need to cut this conversation already. Guys, I'm going to wait a little bit for your questions because I still see people are watching me. So, I really recommend you go to livestarterfree.info. I have several websites now. So that info is the website where I recommend you go. You need to listen to the whole presentation with all the four steps. Because you see, as time moves on, you people who started begin to avoid talking situations more and more. And this in turn limits your chances of gaining sufficient speech experience. And then you grow up into adults with underdeveloped speaking skills. You need to understand that's the only problem you have. And you don't need to accept it. You just simply need to fix it. And it's very simple to fix. People who stutter are, are trying to figure it all out for years. And along the way, they try all kinds of things that yeah, something may work occasionally, but it never works consistently. Please understand that. Never. Because you're still confused. You're not broken. You're still confused. You don't need a cure. You simply need so-called unblocking. Clearing. Clearing your mind from incorrect information. Please understand. Okay. So any other questions? If there are no questions, I've been on air. Wow, one hour, 41 minutes. <laughs> I always give myself a pledge to do it only not more than an hour. But again, I did it for a long time. So I'm going to do my best to do my Freedom Fridays. Every Friday around noon, Florida time. Okay, I'll go live. Lots of love to you. What's today? Is today Friday? I don't even know what day is today. I think it's Friday. Yeah, it's Friday, so I'm fine. <laughs> For me, every day is the same. Okay, two more minutes. A question? Yes, no? No questions, then lots of love to you guys and hope to see you very soon in my livestarterfree.info classroom. 
and we're gonna have well i mean you can go and schedule the time to do a zoom call on this call you will just click on the link and you will join and just please don't give me no show because it's free and just recently i had a no show i just drives me nuts because i am assembling the whole day to come to you and you don't pay anything okay so just show me a little respect come to me if you have scheduled the call make sure you do come okay and i will be more than happy to guide you to where you want to be okay yeah akash he said thank you anna thank you so much for joining me and i'll see you i hope if i don't have a student of course because when i have students i'm not available for outside world i give all my time to my students when i watch your video i feel so comfortable listening to you of course because i focus on accuracy and i'm very very comfortable i don't worry about how quickly or slowly i speak i focus on the right things and information i share is always powerful this is why I recommend you go enjoy my webinar. Okay? Please do. And then see you soon. Lots of love to you guys. Live starter free that info is the answer. Love you. Bye-bye. And podcast and